Oh. It's you! The one who saved Meridian from that Osram lunatic! <laughs> Damned if you aren't a ray of sun on a dark day! Will you help me? If I can. What happened? Mass murder! That's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry! Five men murdered? How? Don't know. One was a buddy from before the Liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. My friend. May he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh yeah, chunks of corpses, gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. Nah, no, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately, and Saravad said, No, that's just stupid. You've been using explosives? Sure. To clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff, we do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were torn apart, not blown up. What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. I know what killed those men. A machine that attacks from underground. It's called a rock breaker. Powerful sounds can attract them. Like explosions for clearing bedrock. An underground killing machine. Great. What in the name of the sun am I supposed to do about that? Just sit tight. This kind of thing is my specialty. Durval stormed the palace, and he still lives? Yeah, I've seen better. Breakers make these mounds when they attack.
Should have brought a cart. already. I've never seen a machine like that. Whoa! Nor a hunter so bold. Take this. It's from the quarry stores, but no one's gonna argue that you don't deserve it. May you walk in the light, friend. Especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground. I prefer the one about the Sun Priest falling in love with a merchant's daughter. 